Hello everyone, this is Karthik and we are going to solve an interesting problem from code forces round 890. It's a div 2c. The problem name is 2 become max. Uh, in this video, I will go over the problem statement. I will explain the observations that I made to solve the problem, the solution of the problem, and then I'll give you a quick code walkthrough for the solution. Now, uh, give the problem a reading and I'll explain it to you then. So the problem says that you're given with the array of n integers and you would like to maximize the maximum number in the array. So find the maximum possible value of maximum of the n numbers and you can perform at most k operations. In, in each operation, you can choose an index i that i should lie between the first and the second last element. So not the last element. Index i will be first to second last element. Choose any index i. And then you can increase ai by 1 given that you have ai less than or equal to ai plus 1. So this is the problem statement. Let's try running this for this particular array. So I have this array 1, 3, 3. In one operation, I can get 1, 4, 3. In two operations, I can get 2, 4, 3. In three operations, I can get 3, 4, 3. And in four operations, I can get four, four, three. And I'm only allowed to do at most four operations. So I could not get any number larger than four. My answer is going to be four. Now that's the crux of the problem. If you have any doubts here, I recommend you going through the second example of the array one, three, four, five, one. And you'll get to know why the answer for that is seven. I'll move to the solution, the observations for this. So the first observation that comes to my mind is that since you can do operations only on the first i minus one elements, a n is going to be fixed. The last element of the array is fixed. There is nothing going to change for that. And from this, what can you infer? If the last element is fixed, what does that tell you about the second last element? The second last element is can at best be whatever it was initially. It could be that it's very large grade, but if it's less than a n, the maximum that it can ever reach is going to be a n plus one, nothing more than that. Because the operation says to increase a n minus one, it should be less than or equal to a n. And that's why the maximum you can get is a of n plus one, or of course, whatever it was initially. So your a n minus one, the second last element, can it best be whatever it was initially or the last plus one. This is just a inference. This will become more of a pattern if you think about the ith element. Now, other observation is around one of the elements is going to be the largest element. So let's say it's going to be the ith element is going to be the largest element after performing all the operations and I can be anything from one to n, one to n, okay? Not n minus one, but one to n. The largest element could be any element in the array after performing all the key operations that you are allowed. But if you do some operations, a good idea would be that whatever, if you make an element larger after doing some operations and that element is the ith element, that tells you that ai plus one has to be at least equal to, assuming that ith is the largest element, then ai plus 1 is going to be at least equal to ai minus 1 because otherwise you would not have reached the current uh, height of ai or um, the number as large a number as ai if you could not have made the operation to make it to this number. So that's why you need to have the next element at least equal to ai minus 1 only then you could have operated on this number to make it this large. Now these are the two observations that I had and that actually helps you solve the entire problem. Now for solving the problem, what we'll do is, since the ith is going to be the largest, I will try out every possible i. I'll try to make what is the largest number that I can make from the first element. So let's put all our focus on a1. What is the largest thing I can make out of a1 if I perform all my key operations focusing fully on a1 and whatever is that value that's going to help me then I will do the same thing for A2. What is the maximum that I can get if I perform all key operations focused on A2? Similarly, A3 
a4 so on to an i will do this exercise for every number in the array let's try doing it for a general case ai now ai can be anywhere from whatever it is right now so zero operations and the largest possible value that you can get from ai let's call it vi vi is going to be either equal to ai that means even after all key operations maybe k0 maybe i equal to n or for whatever reason even after all the operations it may it is possible that the largest possible value that you can make out of ai is equal to ai so the lower bound for vi is going to be ai nothing larger than that what is going to be the upper uh, upper bound it does not need to be strict upper bound just to lose upper bound so it is possible that i am able to perform all of my k operations on ai to increase it upwards and it's going to be ai plus k which is the number of operations allowed to do this means the largest possible value that i can get if i focus only on increasing ai is going to lie between these two numbers now that's a good observation again because now i can do a binary search for vi and when i try a given value for let's say x for vi i will just need to try out is it possible to get x so if i try to increase ai can i reach x by doing that let's see if it's possible to think in that direction so let's say after all my operations my ith element is going to become x is it possible first thing is i will do some operations to increase it all the way till x which is going to be how many operations x minus whatever ai was initially so this is the number of operations i need to do at least to increase this number ai to x now if i'm increasing this to x from my observations it is clear that the element at ai plus 1 has to be increased at least till x minus 1 so this is possible if and only if ai plus 1 can be reached till x minus 1 now if ai plus 1 is already greater than equal to x minus 1 great but if not you will have to increase ai plus 1 all the way to x minus 1 and then if it's possible to do that is it possible to increase it to x minus 1 it is possible if and only if you can increase ai plus 2 all the way to x minus 2 and with reduced number of operations so by going from here to here to x you had k operations but when you are thinking whether it's possible to make this thing happen you only have k minus x minus ai operations left and you can recursively keep doing this that's it that's your solution for every i try out what's the maximum value you can make this guy reach and among all these possibilities choose the maximum the choose the possibility that gives you the maximum possible answer now you would ask me what's the time complexity for this since we're going to try this out for every number and there are n numbers so it's going to be n times whatever is the time taken per number and uh, per number so when i'm trying out for ai i'm going to try doing a binary search for vi the maximum value that can ai can reach up to which is going to be somewhat around 10 power 8 or 10 power 9 the number of operations so binary search on that is going to be log of k but there's also going to be a step where you will do it when you're trying it for i you're doing a binary search this binary search will then be required to be done over the remaining i minus 1 elements as well because can i increase i ai to x depends upon can i increase ai plus 1 to x minus 1 so since you're going to do it for all the remaining elements as well it's going to add a n factor to it so it's going to be n times log k times n so it's n squared log k which is going to work because n is only up to 1000 and uh, since logarithm is anyway very fast so we have a n squared log k algorithm let's do a quick walk code walk through of what we discussed so this code i've already submitted and it uh, got an accepted on code forces you can i'll add the link to the solution you can have a look at it so what we did was as discussed that we'll go over every element 
and try to increase this index to the maximum number that it can be ever reach and we'll keep updating the max possible. So for a given index, how we'll do it is we'll get the numbers, the index and the operations allowed. We'll try to do a binary search on the, the lowest possible value that AI, the A index can reach up to is low value. The highest possible value is AI plus operations allowed and we'll do a uh, binary search will attempt a value we'll see if we can make this value happen if we can great if not adjust your expectations accordingly and keep returning whatever is the maximum you can get for can make value we will simply check if we've already crossed the entire array and it has not yet happened return a false if the number that you're trying to make is already less than equal to the uh, number at this index then it's obviously true you, are, you can make this value Otherwise, you'll use the number of operations required for this current index. And if the number of operations required for this index are greater than the operations you are allowed to do, return a false. Otherwise, use these number of operations and then your remaining operations become remaining operations minus the operations you used for this index. And the next index, index plus one, needs to have a value of at least attempt value minus one. So hopefully this video was clear and you were able to understand the solution. Do leave a like, give your feedback in the comments. If this helped you, leave that in the comment. It really makes me very happy to know that I've helped you out. And if you'd like a video solution for the problem D, I'd hope for 200 likes on this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.